More than 100 people have died in an explosion at an illegal oil refinery site in Nigeria. The blast on Saturday night left charred bodies scattered between scorched palm trees and vehicles. Flip-flops, bags and clothing belonging to the deceased littered the ground. Tony Oriwuhia lost two relatives in the explosion. So by today I'm weeping because of these two young guys. The Niger Delta has been blighted by decades of oil spills into farmland, creeks and lagoons. That's exacerbated the unemployment and poverty that makes illegal oil refining attractive. Crude oil is tapped from a web of pipelines owned by oil majors and refined in makeshift tanks. But as at this site on the border between Nigeria's rivers and Imo states, there can be deadly consequences. Cyril Duru, Imo State's Commissioner for Environment, said a mass burial would be organized. Obviously, they cannot identify the bodies. They are badly charred, you know. Then the next thing will be to fumigate the area so that to stop, you know, possibly anything, uh, diseases, outbreak of diseases around this vicinity that might cause health hazard. Nigeria is Africa's biggest oil producer and exporter. Government officials estimate the country loses an average 200,000 barrels of oil per day to illegal tapping and the vandalism of pipes. That's more than 10% of production. Nigeria's president, Mohamedou Buhari, described the accident as a catastrophe and a national disaster and said he would intensify a clampdown on illegal refineries.